Kylie, can I talk to you now? Oh, it's Alice. What's wrong? Suddenly. Ah, did you receive the invitation by any chance? Great, the address hasn't changed. I thought you had escaped to a foreign country. I thought you wouldn't receive the invitation, but it seems like it has reached you properly. I'm really glad. Huh? Why do I have to run away to a foreign country? I don't have that kind of money. I don't have such plans. Oh, really? If it were me, I would want to do something like that. <laughs> don't compare me to you. That's a pretty cold way to talk. We're friends, so let's get along, okay? Right? What friends? You actually don't want me to come, do you? Isn't this invitation just a dig at me? How cruel to use an invitation as a dig. I just genuinely wanted you to come because, you know, isn't it ridiculous <laughs> to be invited to the wedding of the person who stole your lover? It's so pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> it suits you perfectly. See, it's not a dig after all, but just so you know, I'm not planning on going to the wedding and I don't have any feelings left for that guy. So don't worry. Oh, really? Surprisingly, you seem to be taking it lightly. Did you not love him that much? Poor guy. Of course, you would rather marry someone who's not as cold as you. I completely agree. Is that all right? Okay, then. Oh, wait a minute. Alice, you don't have to come to the wedding, but you're coming to the reunion tomorrow, right? Reunion? I'm going. So what? I don't plan on seeing you. But I'm going to announce my marriage to everyone at the reunion tomorrow. So, you understand, right? Understand what? What? What are you talking about? I'm asking you to not reveal any of my embarrassing stories. It's fine if you want to wallow in self-pity and portray yourself as a miserable woman, but I don't want to be involved in that. Well, I'm sure everyone will believe my story more than your made-up ones, but just to be sure, got it? Sure, sure. I already told you that I'm not interested in you and I don't want to have anything to do with you. I won't bother talking about you anymore. Really? Don't even think about revenge, okay? It's a nuisance. I don't want to deal with that kind of hassle. Besides, I already told you earlier, right? I don't have any lingering feelings for him. I just want him to get married and disappear somewhere. You're such a cold woman. That's why you can't get a guy, right? Should I introduce you to a good man next time? I know several guys who think any woman will do. <laughs> Thanks for your concern, but I'm fine. Is that so? I hear being single is lonely for women. You should hurry up and get married for your retirement. <laughs> well then, bye. Hey, Alice, what's with you? You said you wouldn't seek revenge on me, but you're the one making guilt attacks. What? Why are you suddenly contacting me? When did I make a field attack on you? At today's reunion. Why were you cuddling with the classmate I idolized? The classmate I idolized? Who are you talking about? Stop playing dumb. You know I tried to approach him multiple times in school, right? You knew that, and yet you cuddled with him right in front of me. You really have a nasty personality. That's why you can't keep a man around. So, what's your point? I was just talking and reminiscing with everyone. I just talked with the various people, that's all. Who are you talking about? About Harrison! Harrison? Ah, uh, I was indeed talking to him, but it was Harrison who approached me. I didn't initiate a conversation. Don't lie! A perfect guy like him would never be interested in a miserable woman like you. What kind of trick did you use? I said I didn't start the conversation. I was talking with some friends I used to be close with, and then he came over and asked if he could join us. We started talking, and we hit off, so we continued chatting, just the two of us. That's all. Besides, aren't you going to marry Joy soon? Why does it matter to you? What? Are you planning to cheat even before getting married? Don't be ridiculous. Besides, I was the one who got dumped by Harrison, but he's still a man I can't forget about. What? You got rejected by Harrison? But he said he wasn't interested in women, especially those who are rich or have good looks. He said those things don't matter. But I guess since you confessed to him in school, maybe his mind changed? No, that's not it. I confessed to him in school and got rejected. And I confessed again after graduation and got rejected again. Are you kidding me? What did you do? My friends also said that Harrison is a true gentleman and very kind to women. It's hard to believe that you got rejected by him twice. That's none of your business. Did you exchange contact information with Harrison? Yes, I did. 
See? You're after Harrison, aren't you? No, it's not like that. It's business. Business. He said that if there is an interest in work, he wants to be contacted. And just so you know, it's not just me. He gave business cards to about four girls who were there. What? I didn't get one. I guess you really are hated. How sad. Should I ask Harrison for the reason why? Don't you dare! If you say anything weird to him, it won't end well. All right, all right. Joy and Harrison work at the same place, so of course they sent him an invitation to the wedding. So he should come to the wedding. When he sees me in my wedding dress, he'll surely become interested in me too. So I don't want anyone to know that I stole a man from you before that. Don't you dare say anything. Absolutely not. You said that he should be interested in you, but wouldn't it be troublesome if he did have an interest? After all, you're getting married, right? Do you even realize how strange you sound? You are so annoying. I have my own reasons for saying that. It's none of your business. Oh, really? Well, then I guess I don't care about our future relationship either. Huh. <laughs> Do you think it's okay to say something like that? What? I'll take pictures of you in your underwear. What are you talking about? When we had a sleepover with all our friends a while ago? I took a picture of you while you were changing clothes as a joke. So, you're trying to blackmail me with that. I really regret ever being friends with you. If you tell anyone, I'll leak the photos for real. I'm serious. Got it? Oh, okay. I understand now. We're not that close anyway, so do what you want. Thanks. I'm really glad we're friends. <laughs> Why are you here? Kylie, aren't you doing your makeup right now? What are you doing? Shut up! Answer my question! Why are you here? I'll explain later. For now, just focus on the wedding. You're the bride, after all. You have the nerve to give me orders? Do you think it's okay for you to give me your opinion? That's not it. Come on. The wedding is what's important right now. Oh, really? <laughs> what's that? I know you don't really care about this wedding that much. After all, you had your boyfriend stolen from you, cheated on, and then dumped, right? <laughs> what? Did he put poison in the cake? If you cut up my dress or anything like that, I'll just spread your photos everywhere. <laughs> you can't do anything to me, even though you had your boyfriend stolen and cheated on. That's why don't you dare to give me any opinions. Kylie, you'll regret this. Regret? <laughs> what are you talking about? Who would regret what and to whom? Just answer my question already. Why are you even here at our wedding? <sighs> Fine. I don't care what happens anymore. Just answer the question already. You sent me an invitation, didn't you? Well, apparently it was meant as a jab at me, but that's besides the point. You knew that I didn't want to come, but Harrison invited me to come with him. So I did. Invited by Harrison? Why would he invite someone like you? Don't ask me about that. You're shameless. You were trying to show off to me by being lovey-dovey with Harrison, weren't you? You even raised a toast. And when the crackers went off earlier, you pretended to be surprised and touched Harrison, didn't you? Do you really think you can win Harrison over like that? That was just because I was genuinely surprised. I never thought it would make such a loud noise. You misunderstood. Okay, you know that I still have feelings for Harrison, don't you? I told you at the reunion, didn't I? Yes, you said it. Don't you know that if you annoy the bride, the wedding will be ruined? You have a wonderful husband right in front of you, so I don't think you should be interested in other men, right? Huh? What are you talking about? I still admire him to this day. I want to spend a sweet night with him someday. I want him to hold me. So when I see you two flirting in front of me, it makes me frustrated. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Do you really understand? Use your small brain and think carefully. Today is my day as a main character. Well then. Alice, you really did it this time. I won't forgive you for it. What are you talking about? Is it about you flirting with Harrison? Or is it about our text messages being used as an entertainment at the wedding? Thanks for providing that huge screen, though. Everyone was able to see every single word. No one said anything about it being fake or her harassment scheme that I had orchestrated. Well, of course, in the beginning, there were photos of our good memories. But you called me suddenly when you were changing your dress, 
so it's not my fault, you know? Do you know what they call it in society? They call it force majeure. So, it's not my fault. But I must admit it was pitiful. I pity you. I sincerely hope that this won't ruin your life. How can you say it's not your fault? Well, you should have told me in the first place. I did tell you. Go back and read the messages properly. I said I would explain later, so focus on the wedding for now. But you went ahead and provoked me with your own assumptions and comments. I thought it was pointless to stop you at that point. So it's all your fault, not mine. Even if you say it was my own doing, I don't think it's fair. Got it? Don't you dare joke around. Because of you, my family was like a funeral. It was the worst. Are you willing to take responsibility for that? <laughs> Seems like it. Your parents' faces during the message display were pitiful. Your mother was even crying. <laughs> I couldn't even bring myself to talk to them. Oh, sorry about that. I'm at the after party with my friends now, and they're all eager to hear more about it. They want to hear it from me. So, is it okay if I stop here with my reply? Huh? You're not saying weird things, are you? No. I'm just telling it as it is. <laughs> right now, I'm talking about how you got rejected by Harrison, and they're bombarding him with questions like, How did she confess to you? How did you turn her down? What was her face like? <laughs> oh well, now the guys know about it too. Poor Harrison. <laughs> stop it! Stop the party! I command you to do so. Quickly stop the party. That's impossible, isn't it? How about coming over here and stop the party yourself? <laughs> I bet you can't do that though. Don't get ahead of yourself. Fine, I'll go and do it myself. Where are you now? Near the wedding venue, at a bar. Didn't you and Joy used to go there a lot? Oh. But maybe it's better if you don't come now. What? Are you trying to run away? No, that's not it. I've been watching your messages back and forth, and it seems like the party is getting heated. <laughs> it's like there's a spark coming. What? Oh, come on. What are you going to do about it? You ruined my position. Your stock has fallen since the wedding. Nobody thinks of you as a tragic heroine anymore. Hmph. <laughs> is that so? Oh my, you're quite composed, aren't you? Well, of course, because Joy doesn't tell me anything. You must trust me and understand that I was deceived by you. Even if he finds out I approached Harrison, he'll forgive me because he loves me so much. Remember, he was just a fling for me, and he dumped you in no time. Let's see. That's good then. But let me tell you one thing. Your mother-in-law, that is, Joy's mother, had a bitter expression on her face. You should talk to her properly. Joy's mother is quite strict, you know? What? My mother-in-law? Huh? I haven't met her. She left in the middle of the ceremony, saying she didn't want to see her face. You should explain yourself quickly, shouldn't you? By the way, Joy is a mama's boy, so if you make an enemy out of his mother, Joy's heart will also drift away from you. Wait a minute! Why didn't you tell me about this earlier? I don't have time to talk to you! Oh, too bad. Everyone was looking forward to seeing you. Well then, good luck, bride to be... Bride to be... <laughs>
weren't you? Since you were dating both of us when you were with me, it's not a lie, right? I think it could be effective, don't you? Oh, that's not a bad idea coming from Alice. Right, I'll do that. You can be a little helpful too, you know? Huh? Wait, don't take it seriously. What are you saying? That's a great excuse. Joy was two-timing too, and on top of that, he dumped the girl he was dating all this time and switched to a new one. Well, yeah? As expected of my friend, you did it. Um, sorry to say this after suggesting that excuse, but according to that, you're the same, right? Do you understand that? What are you talking about? I just approached Harrison, but I didn't take him from Joy or anything like that. Joy did much worse things. That's right. Joy has no right to blame me, yet he was talking so arrogantly to me. Ugh, it's making me angry. Anyway, if you're satisfied with that excuse, then that's fine. Are we done? I'm meeting someone now, so I'm busy and I have to dress up properly because I'm not as pretty as you. Oh, is it a guy? Are you trying to steal my boyfriend again? We're not even officially dating yet, but please stop. I don't want to have anything to do with Kylie and Joy anymore. Don't say such mean things. Alice, you and I are close. Hey, hey, what kind of guy is he? I already told you, it's none of your business. Why are you saying such things? Are you actually so unattractive that you can't even introduce anyone to me? Because you got rejected. You're getting desperate and willing to settle for anyone. Please don't do that. You have a good career, even if your looks aren't the best. So try to find a good man who appreciates that. I'm not trying to catch man. He's a very kind and decent person. He just asked me out to dinner, and I don't know what will happen from there. <laughs> well, the men who are interested in you must be of low quality, right? Well, good luck trying. Okay, I'll give it a try. Well, I'll do my best. Can you stop dragging me into your drama with you and Joy? I want to find my own happiness, and I can't do that if I'm caught up in your problems. Huh? Why not? Are you saying that seriously? I want to go and find my own happiness, that's all. I won't be happy if I have to deal with all your problems. Well, how about if you marry an ugly guy? Then I can come to the wedding and I'll even show your lingerie photos as entertainment. Of course, I'll say it was an accident. <laughs> but seriously, I'm sorry. I got ahead of myself. Who knows if you'll even get married, right? <laughs> sorry about that. Please stop involving me in your problems. I beg you. I don't want to be part of it anymore. I refuse. As long as I have those photos of you in your underwear, I can make you my slave, right? What? Well then, see you around, okay? <laughs> hey, Kylie? Kylie! Alice, please help me. I don't know what to do. Please, we're friends, right? Hey, are you listening? Don't ignore me. Alice! What's going on? I'm busy right now. It doesn't matter if you're busy or not. I'm asking for your help. Are you going against me? What's wrong? I listened to you. Because of your revelation at the wedding, not only Joy's parents, but also my mom and dad called me a promiscuous daughter. Joy's parents were also really angry because they took it seriously. They say they can't trust me anymore and won't even let me into their house. Even when I tried to explain, they said, everything you say sounds like a lie, so we don't even want to listen, and kicked me out. What are you going to do about this? Isn't it natural? You should be honest and apologize by saying that everything you said is true and sorry. Isn't that better than lying? No way. Don't you understand that if I do that, I'll be ruined? It's too late now, but you should have just apologized honestly from the beginning. So, I'm saying I absolutely hate it, right? It's not just my family, you know. It's also affecting my work. Work? Oh, there were a few people from your company there, too. And what's the matter? The message from that wedding is also circulating at my work. Someone was filming it. Someone was... Almost everyone who was at the wedding was filming it. <laughs> what? Why didn't you stop them? How could I stop them? We were exchanging messages, and in the beginning, we showed some old photos as a side event. Everyone was touched at first, you know? You're the one who ruined it, didn't you? Don't come up with excuses now. Because of that message circulating in the company, my married friends are saying things like, I'm worried you'll tempt my husband. And they're avoiding me more and more? It's humiliating to have to eat lunch alone. It's fine, isn't it? You can enjoy a peaceful lunch alone. I don't want that. It'll make me look like an unpopular and boring person to those around me. Isn't it better than being a despicable woman who stole someone else's man? And even the section chief and the department manager, who used to flatter me so much, have started treating me coldly 
Yesterday, when I was just 10 minutes late, he got angry in front of everyone. Isn't that terrible? Well, even if you're only 10 minutes late, you're still late, right? I think it's only natural to get scolded. On the contrary, I'm surprised you haven't been scolded until now. Even the male employees who used to hit on me don't even try to get close to me anymore. Maybe because they're worried about what others might think. I'm standing out at work for all the wrong reasons. I'm being left to work alone, which is pitiful, don't you think? Working alone? Isn't your job clerical work? Isn't that something you should do alone? You can concentrate and work efficiently alone, can't you? No way! I want to be pampered! I want to be at the center of attention! But everyone is avoiding me like a sore thump! And it's all because of you! So why are you blaming me for it? It's all because of your actions, isn't it? If you hadn't texted me during the wedding, this wouldn't have happened. And at work too. You've been selfish so far, but why don't you try to work hard now? You haven't been fired yet, have you? The company is still kind to you. Be grateful and focus on your work. Why are you acting so high and mighty? That company was a well-known major company, you know? Did you get a job there just for that reason? Honestly, why did they hire someone like you? That's not all. I was teased by single male colleagues. They said things like, want to be hugged by me too? They think I'm an easy woman. They're really the worst. Well, I guess it's understandable that they think that way. After all, you stole your friend's man and even went as far as marrying him. If things get dangerous, you should turn to the police or something. Don't rely on me for help. What? If I do that, I'll just become more of a laughing stock. How about asking for Joy's help then? No way! People from Joy's company were also at that wedding, you know? And the thing with Line was even a topic of conversation at work. Joy was really angry about it. Isn't that because you also said that he dumped the other woman to be with you? And then you stopped contacting me, so I thought you made up. But that wasn't the case, was it? He admitted to due timing, but then started making excuses like, I changed my mind and decided to be faithful if it's about marriage. That's just a meaningless excuse. So the fight continued. Well, I guess that's what's expected to happen. Joy is apparently getting criticized by his superiors and colleagues at work too. They're saying things like, because of your promiscuous behavior, I'm being embarrassed as well. Joy keeps talking about the same thing over and over again. Even though I'm going through a hard time, he just keeps looking like he's the only one who's having a tough time. If I turned out that the woman he chose while he was two-timing was also making advances toward other men, I think anyone would be shocked, don't you? Joy was always someone who was kind to himself and strict with others. So it's really the worst. Well, it's probably just a temporary topic of conversation. And since you're also earning money from Joy's job, why don't you just quit if you don't like the company? No way! I told you earlier, the company has a famous name, the location is good, and the office is clean, so I like it. Oh, I see. Why don't you just wait for the topic to die down? Everyone else is probably busy, so they won't be thinking about it for very long. Wait for the topic to die down? Yes, that's a good idea. What? It's simple. If there's a more interesting topic than this one, everyone will be interested in that instead. And they'll forget about what I did. Do you really think it'll be that easy? Actually, I have an interesting topic. An interesting topic? Yes, I'll spread rumors about your underwear and distract everyone from my current topic. That way, I can protect my position and stay at the company. And Joy will surely forgive me. I wouldn't recommend that. What? Are you trying to give me orders now? <laughs> no, I'm just giving you advice. Advice? <laughs> what kind of advice? You can spread photos of me in my underwear if you want, but the recordings and messages where you threaten me are still there, you know? In other words, it would be immediately cleared that you were the one who leaked my pictures, which only you and I have. And I have no intention of deleting the messages. They will remain as solid evidence. If you still want to go ahead and share them, go ahead. I'm sure someone as smart as you can figure out what will happen. What? Are you trying to threaten me? I'm not threatening you. I'm giving you a warning, remember? If you want to become a criminal, I won't stop you. Okay, okay. Can you just delete those pictures now? I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. And I don't want my old friend to become a criminal. I understand. Why do these things always happen to me? Don't make me say it, Kylie. You brought this on yourself. You destroyed someone else's happiness, and now you can't be happy yourself. If you understand that, then you should reflect on your actions. Who do you think you are? Do you act so high and mighty? I don't know what to do anymore. If you want to stay with Joy, then you need to apologize sincerely and swear to never go near Harrison again. I understand. I was putting up a tough front online with Kylie, but the truth was that I was deeply hurt that Joy was the one I loved. But now, I'm grateful to God that I got my revenge, even though it was by chance. The two of them are apparently stuck in a loveless, newlywed life, unable to divorce due to the eyes of the public. 
enjoy drinks and parties with other women to relieve his stress and has been saying he wants a divorce as soon as possible. As for me, I'm living every day feeling refreshed. My work and love life are going splendidly, almost too perfectly. I even have my wedding with Harrison coming up next month. And of course, I have no intention of inviting Joy or Kylie.